Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you three ways to fix iPhone stuck in recovery mode. As you can see here, I have an iPhone 7 which is currently stuck in recovery mode. If you have similar problem with your iPhone, then in this video, I am going to show you three different ways to fix it with and without losing your iPhone data. In this video, I am going to use my iPhone 7 as an example, but these three methods will work on every iPhone available at the moment. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your iPhone's problem. And also, please let me know which one of these methods you are going to try. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So with that said, let's get started. Our first method is forced restarting iPhone. If you have an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, the key combination is press and hold volume down button and power button together. Just keep pressing these two buttons. Your device will turn off. Whenever the Apple logo appears, just release both buttons. Try this method by yourselves. If it works, great. If it doesn't, just skip to the next method. Our second method is using a software to fix an iPhone that is stuck in recovery mode. For this method to work, you will need a Windows or a Mac computer. After that, you will need a software by the name of iMobi AnyFix. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. The software is also available for Mac and Windows users. So just go ahead, download and install the software. Link will be given in the description below. After installing it, just open it up. Next, click on the first option which is System Repair. And make sure you select iPhone problems. With the software, you can also fix iPad problems that are mentioned here. So now I am going to go with the first option. Click on continue. This software gives you three options to fix your iPhone's problem. The first option is standard repair. If you fix your iPhone's problem using this option, then it will not erase your iPhone's data. And the second and third option will erase your iPhone's data. So now I am going to go with the first option because I do not want to lose my iPhone's data. The next thing you have to do is to get your iPhone into recovery mode. Since your iPhone is already in recovery mode, this software should detect it immediately. In case your iPhone is not detected by the software, then you have to get your iPhone into recovery mode manually by following the instructions provided by the software. As you can see, this software gives instructions for every model of iPhone. So now I am going to connect my iPhone to computer. Once your phone is detected by the software, the next thing you have to do is to download the latest version of iOS for your device. In other words, you have to download latest firmware for your device. You can either download the firmware through the software by clicking on this download button or you can download the firmware through a web browser. If you want to download the firmware through browser, just click on this link and it will open up the browser and it will start downloading the firmware automatically. So I already downloaded the firmware, so I'm just going to select it. Okay, after that, the repairing process will begin. During this time, do not disconnect your phone. Just grab a cup of coffee and have a good time. Because this process will take about 10 to 15 minutes. So you have to be very patient. Okay, once the repairing process is completed, if you see a green check mark like this, that means the software has successfully fixed your iPhone's problem. Now all you have to do is unlock your iPhone with the passcode that you previously used on your iPhone. And boom, as you can see, here are my apps, none of them are touched. And also, let's go to my contacts. Yes, as you can see, all my contacts are there. And also, let's see, do I have my photos? Yes, I do. As you can see, all my photos are there. So that is how you can fix your iPhone's problem using this method. Without losing your data, of course. 
Okay, before I show you the next method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this video. The software I used in this video is not free, you have to purchase it. But will you purchase the software to fix your iPhone's problem without losing your data? That is the question, right? Just leave your answers in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, my next method will be restoring an iPhone with iTunes to fix a problem. If you're already familiar with this method, then you don't have to watch the rest of the video. If you want, most welcome. So before you leave this video, just do me a favor. Just give me a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. Come on guys, sharing is always free and doesn't cost anything. So with that said, let's move on to the next one. Our third and last method is restoring an iPhone with iTunes to get it out from recovery mode. This method is completely free but remember, restoring iPhone with iTunes will erase everything from your iPhone. If you don't want to lose your iPhone data but still want to fix your problem, then try second method. So in order to restore your iPhone with iTunes, first of all connect it to your computer using a USB cable. In short, get your iPhone into recovery mode. So now I'm going to put my iPhone into recovery mode. Once you put your iPhone into recovery mode, now open up iTunes on your computer. As soon as you open iTunes, it will ask you to update or restore your phone. So just click on restore. After that, click on restore and update. After that, the restoring process will begin. Now this will take time, so you have to be very patient. Okay, I got an error while restoring my iPhone that says, wait, let me zoom in. Here it says, the iPhone could not be restored and a known error occurred. So let's try one more time. And hopefully this time, my iPhone will be able to restore. So fingers crossed. Okay, second time it worked. As you can see, now the phone is restoring. Once the restoring process is completed, all you have to do is set up your iPhone as if it's brand new. Once you set up your phone, your phone should be fixed just like this. But everything your phone will be erased. So there you have it guys, that is how you can fix an iPhone that is stuck in recovery mode. If this video was helpful to you, then please give me a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.